In this step, we will show how to send data between app pages. For this, we will need to store the ID of the selected record in memory. Literally, you need to keep, save its data somewhere in the app. And for that, we will use the model and storage functionality. Let's first create a model that will hold the collection data by exporting the structure of the list service response. On the list service page, open its response tab and click the export button next to the body object. Confirm you want to export service parameters as a new modal. The modal is added to the modal and storage modal tab. Models describe the structure of storage variables, so this model will be used while mapping to show the fields of the storage variables. Let's switch to the Storage tab and create a new storage variable that can be used across all app pages and store a task. Name it to do and select the list service model for its type. Save. Next, let's create the second page that will show the details of the task record when it will be selected on the main page. Add the input component to the screen and clear its label text. Then add the button to the toolbar buttons with the type Ionic Back button. Also, you can change the toolbar title text to make your page look better. Now we want this page to show the selected task. This is why we need to perform mapping right after the page was shown. Unfold the Events tab, select the page component and add the mapping action to the after page showing event. In the mapping editor, map the stored task name to the input value and save. Next, we want to show this page when a user selects a task from the list. For this, select Screen 1 Events tab, select the List Item 1 component, click Event and set Screen 2 as the route for the Navigate to Page action. Also, we need to add another click event to the same List Item 1 component that will set the variable to the selected task. Define it with the to-do variable we created earlier and set its value as current item dot item data. When you work with a list component, current item dot item data local variable stores the selected list item. Now you can save. That's it. You can now test the app.